Hi everyone and welcome to a poorly edited Slay the Spire video intro. Uh, I'm going to section this video into two parts. A quick intro to the strategy, we're going to be doing the zero cost infinite combo deck. Um, and then the actual playthrough itself, so just skip this part if you don't want to see the strategy, but yeah. Uh, outside of my normal channel content, I've been violently addicted to Slay the Spire. Gasp, AA shares my closet addiction to roguelite deck builders. I know, shocking. I'm actually not kidding, though. It's very bad, so I just wanted to stream it uh, and do something kind of fun. We're going to be looking at this strategy, and basically the deck works from this idea I got from a video on Slay the Spire by another YouTuber named uh, Medieval Marty, and I will put the link to his video in the description because it's a really good video, and some of the comments in the video underneath it. Um, and the main cards in this build are, at the beginning, we're looking for stuff like Streamline, which can go down to zero and does a lot of damage for the early game for a low cost. Go for the Eyes and Beam Cell to weaken and make our enemies vulnerable. Claw, because the more it calls itself, it, like, it can get really strong here. Um, yeah, I'm in Photoshop when I'm doing this. I just thought it would be a clear way to show the cards. Um, Turbo is good for getting energy because we will need it for some of these more essential cards for the build. And FTL. Now, I did try to force this build for this run, and I've tried it, and it can be very hit or miss. But basically, if you manage to get all for one at the beginning, or maybe like a scrape, um, which these cards are just like calling out more zero cost cards, either from the front of your deck or from the back of it. And then you can actually create this crazy combo where you go all for one after you've played a bunch of your zero cost cards and then play all for one to get them back out of your discard pile and then play hologram to get all for one back out of your discard pile and then do it again. Um, so that can recur over itself like two times, but then if you manage to play Madnesses to make Hologram and All for One into zero cost cards, you can actually create an infinite combo deck, um, as long as you can create block fast enough. And it does not really work against like the Time Lord boss, um, so like a lot of disclaimers on this strategy, but when you do get it working, it's really cool. Um, please don't take this as anything competitive. It's really just me trying to get over my deck builder addiction and trying to put together a run that would be so somewhat interesting um, and an a non-traditional strategy for the defect. Uh, that is actually quite satisfying, but I did have one or two major misplays at the end of the run, um, and I did actually have to save scum. I swear I didn't even know how to save scum, which is one of the benefits of streaming this game to a Twitch audience with a bunch of geniuses in there. Um, I do recommend that. But yeah, anyway, uh, a good run, and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so three random potions, lose all gold for a rare card. We could get the, um, basically we could take a reboot, or like, um, we could take a reboot or an all for one if we get that, so that would be quite nice. The regular card, I mean, they're pretty easy to come by. Most of the cards in this build are common. I think we're going to see if we get the rare card we want. And good, we got Reboot. Like, Seek is amazing, but Reboot is more the card that we need for this um, build overall. I can't remember. There was some reason why I didn't like Seek in this build. Because it only goes from the draw pile, that was why. And sometimes I run out of cards in the draw pile. I've run into that situation, so I try to avoid it. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to force this build again. And it looks like we're going against... Uh, exactly the same boss as the last time, so this is going to be a horrible run again, probably, but... Um, yeah, we did get the draw in our deck, so hopefully that's going to give us a little bit more defense than we had the last time. Let's do a dual cast, just to see what happens with this, because if you can dual cast first with these guys, it is great. Okay, um... 11, so I will actually be able to take this guy out totally. I don't even need to reboot here. Yes, my math has worked. Good. 12 is greater than 11, and therefore he's dead. Ivanta99, thank you very much for the sub. So, we have reached an impasse. Our first run went pretty well, except that we just had, like, no draw. Um, which one is more important to get into our deck first? Turbo or Hologram? I'm thinking because everything requires energy still right here, and although I think... Hologram is a slightly better card for this deck. Or I think it's fun to be able to call back a card from the graveyard. I think Turbo is just going to make a little bit more sense right here in terms of opportunity costs. Um, I don't know why I took this path. I was thinking that I still had my gold on me, so I just kind of wasted a room. But, I mean, it, it doesn't really seem like I would have been able to do much with it anyway. It's okay. We're still going to be fighting against the elite, elite boss. 
Uh, but what else have we got here? Let's take out some... In uh, let's invest in a zap for later turns. And I'm just going to assume that one of these things is going to take that guy out. Let's try to get the excess damage on him. And it totally didn't, so that was not good. The odds of that were only 25%, though. So, I'm going to play to my odds. I'm going to keep playing to my odds. Let's dual cast. Still horrible... Horrible things are befalling me, but... Um... Mm, might be able to get another dual cast, so let's go ahead and do a reboot. I didn't get it. Uh, bad, very bad. Just sad, really. Okay, well, I'll defend myself. And yes, my defense was lowered there. Um... Give me the zap, because it's not it's going to do it over two turns, so I'm good. I didn't block first, because I was getting only three block from it. Hmm. 17 gold. Okay, we got a Streamline. Streamline is a pretty good card for the first floor, in my opinion. Um, remove Transformer Upgrade. Okay, so what is going to help us... I'm just going to assume that we're going to go against the worst possible boss for me, which is the big red man, uh, who is, like, very angry. Uh, and we need to play attacks against him. So, removing would be nice, or a transform. Really, I want to get rid of as many of these things as possible, but I want to assume that I'm going to go against that guy. So, hmm. Well, actually, if we re upgraded Reboot right now, that would make us really powerful. Just not on this floor. Hmm. We'll have enough energy, so I'm not worried about that. I think I'm just going to not overthink it too much, and we're just going to upgrade a basic zap. Actually, Reboot for the more cards, because it looks like we're going to have the energy. Or Streamline. Well, the Streamline would get me up to 20 damage. I'm going to do Streamline because it's going to make me powerful right now. That's a good idea. I'm just going to keep reassuring myself by telling myself that everything I'm doing is a good idea. I think that the Relic is going to be a bigger risk and probably a bigger reward. Uh, Regal Pillow is... Eh, kind of eh. Not a great power. Or not a great trinket. Okay, and we're going against, again, the worst possible boss for us to be going against. And I just made all the wrong moves, so... Uh, again, my stream luck is proving to be just pretty much identical to my, uh, to my luck when I play privately. Z again, this is the worst possible boss for us to get up against. Zap and stream Streamline was a solid upgrade, though. That hopefully will help us along here. Um, we are going to lose HP equal to the number of cards in our hand at the end of this turn. Um, we really aren't going to take him out anytime soon, so I don't want to anger him too much. Um, but the lightning might be worth it just because we aren't going to have to maintain that. I'm willing to take 18 damage here. And then another 3 from that freaking card. We're going to have to get rid of that one ASAP, even before we get rid of our strikes and stuff. Okay, the streamline should be useful, and then I think we could just do that straight into another strike. I would love to be able to defend myself, but we can't, uh, and most of these cards aren't zero cost yet, and I'm a little bit too afraid to use my turbo. He's going to deal only 10 this time. Honestly, may be able to just yeet myself a lot of defense this turn. Let's try another zap into... Two defends and possibly a turbo, because now I'm going to really anger him before we take him down. I'm going to do a turbo, and then I'm going to strike him. And hopefully we won't draw that void next turn, but I still think we'll be fine, because all we need is one more strike. Took a lot of damage, but I won't be able to take that 39 this turn, so I'm good. Okay, and I don't think that I lose the HP from Regret at the end of this turn. That's good. Oh, and he still had the other block, too. Okay, and we can just end, and he's dead. Phew. Phew. Um, unceasing top may be useful for this. I'm doubting it because we usually wind up with some card at the end, but might end up being useful for our build if we get to the bottom of the draw. 
Okay, we've got only 21 health left, but we just fought against the strongest enemy on this floor, and a really strong one, I want to emphasize that. But it doesn't look like we're going to be able to rest anywhere else. And we do have that pillow, so we might as well take one rest here. I don't think we'll have to do that at all for the rest of the floor, though. There we go. A lot of people asking, you know what, since a lot of you guys want to see fast mode, I'll do it. Um... Borderless screen shake, particle effects, fast mode. Let's give it a try. I honestly haven't played it with this because I kind of like the animations, but we'll give it a shot. We'll do a defend into, I think I'm gonna take this guy out fast, so we'll do a dual cast into a strike. Oh, that actually just does make it slightly faster and less obnoxious. Okay, good, I'm glad that I trusted you. Hey, thank you for that. That was very... Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm willing to take two damage just to make sure that we can take him out now. Oh, that is slightly more convenient. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't discover this 20 years ago. Look at how much good... St now, Streamline is going to kind of downgrade as we go throughout the playthrough, but an early Streamline upgrade is good. Uh... Courier, merchant, restocks, cards, so all prices are reduced. Uh, not bad, not bad. But I would kind of rather get the sale. I mean, early this early on, it could be very useful. I'll take it because we generally haven't survived past the first floor yet. Um, Do we have any curses in our deck? We do have a curse. Okay, I'll take the removal. Good. That was very lucky, wasn't it? That was basically like a free card removal. How lucky are we? How lucky are we? All right, um, let's go ahead and do a streamline. We'll just take out that louse so that we don't get the negative effect. And then we'll apply this vulnerable to you. How does it feel to have vulnerable applied to you? I think this will be a pretty easy fight, so I'm not going to... Uh... Oh no, I'm not going for electrodynamics at all. I'm going for the zero cost infinite build. Now, there will be cards that are good that I'm going to pass up, but that's only because I'm forcing a strategy that's fun to do. Um, I'm willing to take one damage to take him out just slightly faster. Very nice, very nice. Hopefully I'll save some uh, time there, time, and maybe, you know, avoid a bigger hit later on. Let's go ahead and strike him thrice. And there he goes. All right, ah, uh, Scrape, another of the important cards I am looking for. Let's take on a boss, take on another boss. Now, fortunately, we kept all these defends in our deck. Um, I am a concern. There are other cards that I would like to upgrade here, but I'm trying to decide if getting all these strikes and defends upgraded would be, would be the best thing for me. Honestly, maybe not such a bad idea because you got to come out strong and hard against these first guys. Um, let's do the Blessing of the Forge and the Flex Tape Potion. Just because I need to take these guys out, like, now. Like, if you don't take out one on either turn one or two, you are in probably some very deep doo-doo in this fight. Fun fact, saying thrice makes me thrice as cultured. Why do you th what do you think I'm... What's my agenda here? Of course, that's- I'm trying to convince you that I'm cultured. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, uh, of course I'm kidding. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm willing to do a reboot now, hopefully, to get some defense. I want to avoid- oh, look, we got no defense. Wow. Um, these guys aren't regenerating or anything, but at the same time, I'd rather just focus on one. Because getting one of them taken out... Well, actually, this is going to deal six. Eh. I'll do this. Because I'm probably going to be around for this many more turns. Sometimes it's best not to completely overthink everything. Like, there is an infinite combo we're headed for that I think we'll get to. But at the same time, too, sometimes it just feels good to play cards. Sometimes it just feels good. Ah, there we are. Ah, Slay the Spire, giving me 
more cards than I need when I don't need them. I can just take you out. And I don't even need to defend at all. Dawn's Satanic Bubblegum. Thank you very much for the Prime. Much appreciated, my friend. Hmm. Methinks we don't have enough zero-cost cards in our deck yet, though. Scrape could be useful. It's just that we haven't found the use for it yet, of course. One, two, three. Well, we should have enough energy to play all of these, and I would like to play all of them. Let's go ahead and do a dual cast into a scrape. Into a turbo. Into yeah, we should be able to take him out totally right now. We won't even need to do that. Good. An oddly smooth stone. What does that do again? Start each combat with one dexterity. Somewhat useful. I don't want to get more turbos into my deck. I just want to keep it at one, so we'll leave that there. And what do you know? I'm at 29 uh, HP. I'm going to do something slightly risky now that might make you a little bit uncomfortable. I'm going to go ahead and smith. Um, not because I wish to make you feel uncomfortable, but because I just need to start getting this engine going, which scrape depends on having zero cost cards to call up, so I'm going to get zap out. Um, I like to have zap and dual cast upgraded before I get to the first boss. And what do you know? We just fought against the worst possible boss again. Oh my gosh, er nothing ever goes our way. <laughs> didn't we fight against this guy? Or am I just getting deja vu from the last? No, we yeah, didn't even play against uh, Lagavulin at all. Hey, Wampa Stampa, thank you for the 16 months. Mm. Every time I choose defect, it's grab all power cards. The power cards build is quite overpowered and very reliable. But I'm trying to see if there's another way to play it. I find, like, with the, um... Mm. Let me see if I can get Scrape here. I'm going to reboot... Scrape would be good, and I didn't get Scrape. Oh well. At least I got Streamline, that was the main one I wanted. Uh, now we have Streamlined our way into this boss fight. This doesn't make a difference, so I'm just gonna do that. Alright, 36 HP on turn 1 is not a bad start to this fight, and most of the other cards that are in my deck at this point in time are attacks, so we'll see how this works with him. We're gonna go in and make him vulnerable, then we'll do a Scrape. Um, and I think we'll probably be able to take him out the next turn. And look, we just got nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, so, <laughs> let's go ahead and gain... Uh, I'm gonna do 16 damage if I do this. So that's gonna bring him down to 20. Will I be able to take out 20 HP next turn? If I grab Streamline, probably then. There's a pretty good chance of it, so I'm gonna go with that. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to prevent a little bit of that damage. The Vulnerable will have worn off and zap and... Okay, we're, yep, we're barely going to be able to take him out. Into a dual cast, into a strike. Good. Phew. Pen Nib is fantastic for this deck. That's a great card to have gotten. Machine Learning, do I take it? Because it's going to get the draw up. This is the one card I might add to this deck. Um, but only one of them, because it just gives me slightly more draw. Normally I don't do this, but I've been experimenting with this card in this deck, so I am going to give it a shot. Okay, um, we could smith. Smithing might not be bad here, but we're going to have to keep our defense good. Would we be able to do this? We could make machine learning innate. Which would be fantastic, because that gives us more opportunities to grab defense, which are going to keep us alive in this boss fight. But also, 15 HP is not that much. Um, and we also will get uh, Regal Pillow. I might have to save it for later. It's okay if I short myself one energy on turn one, because I have the time. Um... If I, this were like 25 HP, I would do it, but I think I am going to have to rest here. And I feel like a loser for doing it, but yeah, I'm just going to have to be a bit of a loser right now. And what do you know, we got it anyway as an 8, so it wasn't even worth it to upgrade it. Let's do machine learning, and we're actually going to save this reboot in our deck for when we really need it. We'll apply the vulnerable, we'll do a zap, and we'll do a strike, but I don't think it's worth rebooting with just one energy left. Okay, and yeah, we'll definitely be able to take out 21 health here. 
So let's go ahead and do Streamline does 20, and then we do a strike because we want to save these dual casts for when we really need them. Like, otherwise, let's just keep this plugging away with three orbs summoned as much as possible. Okay, it's looking pretty good for me because I've got these defense. So I'll do six. Mm. Now we could get draw going, but most of these cards don't actually have zero cost to them yet. When Streamline gets zero cost, it'll be more worth it to play Scrape. But for now, let's just defend, and then we'll just pew him. Yeah, he's going to deal nine, so, well, that's going to apply the vulnerable, so let's do this. That gives us six, and then that makes up for the other damage. Okay, the mathematics are starting to kick in, and I'm getting smarter. I can feel it already. Right, we are going to have to tank some damage this turn. I'm going to go ahead and streamline, because I want to get this down to zero cost. And then I think we can just zap. And then the dual cast will probably be worthwhile here. Um, the reboot, I still want to save for if he's really going to do a lot of damage in one turn, like 20 right now. Yeesh. Um, I'm thinking if we do three defends, and then yes, let's use that turbo. This was a very good hand to have drawn in this turn. Oh, and we can even pew him slightly. We can reboot as well. That might be useful. Um, 25, but we are blocking most... Of I'll take the reboot right now. Let's just get him down below half. And we got a streamline. We got rid of the void. That's nice. Um, is it worth it? No, it's not worth it. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. Okay, we've got nine damage incoming, and we do have a defend. We'll use that. And then I think I'm just going to play it safe here with the dual casts. We're definitely going to win this fight now. We're good. Uh, let's do a scrape, see if we can draw any of the zero cost, and we didn't. We're going to take a little bit of this damage, but he's down to 47. Okay, we're going to be taking 16, but at this point the end is nigh, so I think we're just safe. Local robot tries to demolish historic building. More <laughs> info to come as situation <laughs> progresses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Alcrest, thank you very much for the seven months. I've never really understood the whale at the beginning of the game. Am I willing to take the four damage? What the hey? I think we're pretty much just going to be finishing off in the next turn, so let's just whittle my health down. Do this. Get a streamline. And he's down to four. Okay, he's already dead. Yes! Oh, another reboot! You can never have too many of them. Well, you can, but usually you won't. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna be taking Slaver's Collar, but yeah. Uh, this is not that bad Pandora's box. I don't like Coffee Dripper, especially with that. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to take Slaver's Collar because just the boss and the elite fights are the only ones in this game that are really difficult. One of the best power-ups in the game. And also we'll make up for our lack of energy-related cards. We have only one turbo right now. I think I'm going to go to the grocery store at the beginning of this one. Hmm. Sorry about that. Had to swap over for a second. Neo is the entity the Spire was built to contain. Is he... He can never... So Neo is the whale at the beginning? Oh, I don't want Melter in my deck. It's not a zero-cost card, but it's a it's a very nice idea. Melter would help you get through this entire floor, to be fair. Maybe keeping one copy of Melter. But I find that when I start to dilute this deck with things like that, then I just start to get kind of scatterbrained. We are getting the start every combat with one dexterity, right? What is this from again? This is the oddly smooth stone. This is actually a fantastic card for us. Um, I'm going to try rebooting here because I still do have two energy and I want to get this engine going. I'm definitely going to be scraping here. I'm going to do a zap. And then we'll have one left so we can take off... Oh, uh, we can just defend ourselves. That's pretty good. And then we get the nine in on him. Unfortunately, we don't take it down any of his plated armor. Um, which is one of my regrets that we're playing attacks here so much. Going to be dealing another twelve. I think we can just do a turbo to play all of our cards this turn, though. Um, beam Cell. 
into his streamline. 30. That's nice. Into... Actually, I could have done beam... Eh, arguable. You know what? I'm going to turbo into a defend and a strike. Just so that we can get down more of that plated armor. And what do you know? I forgot about that. Oh, this is the... um. Which card is doing this again? This is the unceasing top. I forgot about how good this card was. This is why the zero cost deck is so effective for us right now. Yet one more reason. I'm thinking machine learning into two defends. That's gonna give us, we'll take two damage. Okay, he's dealing 21 to us right now. Can we possibly mitigate this in any way? It does kind of look like an avocado, to be fair. Mm, let's do a zap. Into a beams. We can take down one of the plated armor. I think we could just take him out here. Yep, he's dead. That's good, because that's not one of the easiest combats for this build. Sweeping beam, boot sequence, and turbo. I'm just going to leave behind, because I want only one turbo in my deck. And we have, what do you know, 332. That's pretty good. Um, and we've got the merchant restocking here, so we can do that. Ooh, we've also got the 50% discount. That's like they stack now to 70%. Wow, very exciting. Actually, folks, just a very exciting moment of this stream. All right, I'm definitely going to buy this because I always buy it. Um, that's amazing. Start each combat with one additional strength. The va Vajra would be fantastic for us. This is 61 for a freaking Vajra. Let's just buy all of the trinkets now. Okay, this build is getting very strong now. Um, I wonder if we can do the card removal, because I do want to get rid of more of these things. I'm definitely getting Vajra. Thinking ahead might be decent, but eh. I mean, thinking ahead is always a good card, except for if I get penalized for playing too many cards. Like with the time boss. I'm going to take Vajra. Okay, we got a bottled lightning. Is the run over now? I could do a bottled lightning on one of my reboots. That way I could always get a redraw on the first hand. I think I'm going to do that. Because that's super overpowered because it pretty much always gives you the hand that you need. Okay, I'm going to do that here on my reboot. Um, <laughs> this is getting really strong. I'm going to feel like an idiot if this run doesn't go well. And then we'll do a card removal because it's always good. Uh, I'm going to get rid of my... I'm just gonna- we have four strikes still, that's way too many. Get rid of that. And let's leave, that was one of the best merchants I've ever had. Nice. Have I tried the Downfall expansion mod? I've not actually played Slay the Spire with any mods. I just feel like there's so much content in vanilla that I have to get through. I didn't know you played Slay the Spire, I'm shaking. Please call an ambulance, maybe. I don't want you to get hurt. We'll play a machine learning. We'll play a zap. Because it's free. We don't need this. We'll just, uh, yeah, we should probably reboot right now. I mean, this is the issue with having too many reboots. Is Look, I'm just wasting this entire turn right now. Because I just keep redrawing reboots. <laughs> like, what is it? Ah, uh, this is not good. I didn't get three attacks. Yeah, let's take out this one. I probably should have gone for the 30 one, but whatever. Um, this is horrible. I was hoping that they would just go one by six. Oh, Jesus, now we're having to fight against the worst types of burbs. Well, this is horrible. Uh, this is really horrible, guys. <laughs> I was hoping that this wouldn't have happened at all. Hmm, yeah, because they're taking half damage. Okay, um... I'm gonna take a lot of damage right here, but let's see if we can draw a turbo. And take this one down. No, we didn't get a turbo. All right, let's see if we can do this. Apply a vulnerable, and then... Wow, I just totally screwed myself. Um, I could dual cast and then cross my fingers and hope that one of them strikes this one. No, that's not going to work very well, is it? Oh, this will take this one out. Okay. I'm going to do it, and then I'm going to tank 24 damage. I know that seems like a lot, but I just got kind of a horrible, unfortunate draw there at the beginning. Um, yeah, like, that was bad. We need an anchor or something in this deck just to defend us at the beginning. Uh, I hope that- I just hope that we get that. 
again, we haven't gotten enough of these cards down to zero cost. I'm gonna go ahead and do a beam cell on this guy. Which one is gonna be more effective to attack here? So I can definitely get three attacks off on one of them. A full year Let's apply the vulnerable here, community. and then we'll do Please this. Please never stop what you're doing, my man. No, my never face. stop. Hey, Leo Roboto, thank you very much for the 12 months, my friend. Hope you've enjoyed. Hmm. Yeah, the floor two, floor two is really what determines if your deck is, like, any good at all. I think we're pretty much just fine here, so I'm going to play that. He goes down, then we deal 21, and I forgot about Pen Nib, just, which is going to save my life, and then, yeah, Pen Nib is extremely good here. We'll do a strike. Look, he is raising his flamingo neck. Mm, none of this is useful for me. I have, like, a, a set of cards I'm looking for this time. And if I don't get them, I'm just moving on. I think machine learning is the only exception to that. Um, I, w I might as well dual cast because he's not going to get attack damage, so that's going to be pretty effective. Um, he's going to give himself block. Let me see. I'm going to scrape anyway. I'll take the turbo. And then I'm actually going to reboot. You might not have expected that I would have rebooted there. But I will. Uh, if only I had had one of those, uh, um... Whatchamacallit? Another lightning channel. That's why we need to get dual cast down to zero. Or actually, would that have even helped me? Not sure here. I think we can just take this boss out this turn, though. What are the odds that we're going to get a zero-cost card? Pretty high, actually. So we will scrape him. We'll beam sell you. Beam. Two strikes would give... Uh, that wouldn't be enough. We need another dual cast is what we need. And hopefully that streamline. I am determined to take you out that t this turn. 23. And what do you know? Oh, okay, we got a strike, so we got to take down eight more health. So five and three, that should be enough, except for is his block going to strengthen itself again? It actually might. Now, he's dead. Math has saved us again. We're going to go ahead and skip. Okay, 49 out of 75. We're actually, actually, guys, very exciting moment right now. Can everyone just please compliment me for a second? Because this run is going has gone very well now. I know I've horribly mismanaged everything, and hindsight is 2020, and, you know, there'll be a lot more backseating when things go wrong, but at the same time, like, you know, like, what a great job we've done. Silent Infinite Free Knives. That sounds like a fun build. I think I did try that a while back, but it's been a minute. I think I'm going to upgrade my innate reboot. Because, like, more cards, right? Like, just getting that turn one, making sure that turn one goes exactly as you plan it. Is very, um, is of great import. And this is one of my least favorite boss fights to attempt. Yeah, the defect usually as as an orb deck is how I play it too. I too have been trying it with the attack build. And this has given me great satisfaction. I am going to dual cast one of these orbs, I believe. Except is scrape gonna be better here? We just don't have such a burst on turn one. We don't get like to the infinite combo yet. And that is troubling to me because we don't have enough zero cost cards. Let's see if we can scrape this boy. Okay, so then we can beam him. Hmm, no. Well, mm, will dual cast work? I want to get stream... I'm so tempted to do streamline. It's just that it's not working, really. I want both of these guys dead, and I know I'm just going to have to take, like, tank 18 damage. The problem with this build is there is quite a lot of tanking. Let's see how luck treats me, though. Okay, luck treated me quite well there. Um, I will use the beam cell on him, and that will make him stronger. And then I believe I am actually going to... Wait, how do I have 21 damage? Oh, because of pen nib. I forgot about this. That's quite good. Um, 
Is this worth saving for something else? Not really. I'll just take him down. Okay, now I think it does become about mitigating damage, so we might not even have to use this reboot. I think just we can mitigate 12 of that. Now, is it worth it to reboot right now at this moment? Oh, I never got to play machine learning. Whoops. Nope, because I, I might need energy for what I get. It's all right. He's just going to resummon his his people because he's stupid. We'll streamline. We'll go into a strike, and I should probably be counting a little bit more with pen nib now. Hmm. If I could get a machine learning right now, that would be great. So I think I am going to try to reboot because I'm going to need to scale faster than these two strikes will allow me. And it looks like I didn't get it, but that's too bad. All right, well, we will scrape and then we'll still dual cast. Good, because I don't think the combat will go on for quite that long. All right. Streamline for 21. We will get the pen, but he's not going to be attacking us this turn either. Mm, seven reboot. We could re. We'll probably want to reboot here. I've already played machine learning though. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a turbo into a strike, into a reboot because we just get more energy and we get a little bit of the attack damage. Okay, another strike. That's useful. And then we can streamline into him. Well, we'll beam sell him first, and then we can. Yes, that's nice. That's good. Unfortunately, we didn't actually need that turbo. I was thinking we might draw more attack cards, but we did not, unfortunately. Um, hmm. What happening now? I'll take the lightning. That's pretty much a freebie. I'm definitely going to want to block some of this. So that gives it... We'll be alive, but not by much. I'm going to dual cast into one strike, into two strike, and hopefully we'll get a streamline next... Oh, and I am almost forgetting about my important card that gives me more cards after... Unfortunately, I got a void. That's why having curses in this deck is going to be extremely debilitating for us. Um, okay, this is the best I can do in terms of damage right now. Even with the pen nib, let's do that. And then that. Ink bottle is quite good as, for us as well. Go for the... Uh, we don't have a go for the eyes. Okay, this is a very welcome addition to our deck. I will take that. Okay, we have only 13 health left. I know I said that I wasn't going to be sleeping anymore. But I've got to, because I've got 13 health. But fortunately, that is enough to, like, actually get me to full health. Just about. Captain Flipflop, thank you very much for coming out. It's good to see that many of you guys have a crippling addiction to card games as well. Uh, heal 5 HP whenever I use a potion. Honestly, I don't think that's that good. I think I'm just going to take the Sapphire Key, because I do like to go against the hard at the end if I can. Okay, this is also... This is just in general a very difficult boss fight. Um, I'm going to use my Dexterity Potion right now, because... I'm going to need to do a lot of blocking right now on turn one. Uh, I also think it's important to play Machine Learning on turn one. The thing is that my combos aren't getting infinite fast enough here. I need more draw. I need more. And I need to get rid of more of these defends and things like that. This deck should be all about attacking from turn one. But, you know, we will get more information from scraping them. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll try to take out the back guy because he's very strong. Um. Hmm. This is not working. Mm. I'd rather have two energy to decide what to do with these. Because 11 blo- uh. I'll take six cards. Okay, good. Looks like we got the things that we needed. We're definitely going to be playing a turbo here. Let's do a beam cell onto the back guy again. Because if we can just take him out, that would be nice. Okay, I am going to play a couple of defense. So that gets me up to 22. Now I could reboot again. And then hopefully get, like, a go for the eyes or something like that. Uh, I do want to keep this orb around because I think this combat's going to last a while. So I might just be better off with that. 
Okay, and what do you know? Uh, actually got enough maybe to defend all of my health, but is it worth it? Because these guys do get stronger from turn to turn. Hmm. Have I played Cultist Sim? I actually have, but it's been a while. Do you have any tips for winning with the Ironclad? Generally speaking, the reason I'm playing this build right now is because it, like, it requires that I not play the way that I feel most comfortable. Like, I like to play with the orb, too, like you guys have said. Um, it's orb in time, I usually think to myself when I'm playing the defect. But right now, it's not really orb in time. Like, it's time for... Mm, here we are. Let's do this, so I won't fully block the... No, actually, I will fully block it. But I like playing builds that I feel uncomfortable with. Or just, like, something that forces me to try the game in a new way. Just because I think it keeps the game interesting for me. Or Bnauticus. Precisely. Hmm. We might have to turbo right now. Actually, we don't have to turbo at all, but I just kind of wanted to say that. So... <laughs> Like, keep, do take the things I do with a grain of salt. Um, we'll see if the randomness goes onto this guy, and it totally did. That's nice. So we can take him out, and then we are going to have to tank, like, 20 damage at the end of this turn. Um, the middle guy is not really so... Like, he's not a big heavy hitter, but he does have a lot of health, so we'll save him for last. Generally speaking, that seems to be a good idea. We'll channel more lightning, and then we're going to go ahead and... We'll dual cast to see where that winds up. We're going to scrape because it's 16 damage and that's pretty good. And then this is going to deal 7, so we want to make sure that this guy is taken out. Then we have 2 left, so let's do... We'll definitely be defending ourselves, and then I'm going to strike him for dead. And unfortunately, those wounds got in the way from us drawing another card. But you can sort of start to see how the zero-cost infinite draw engine is playing out. We just don't have all for one in our deck, so that's... Like, we're missing one of the key cards. We're gonna go ahead and strike, and defend, and defend. And we aren't gonna be able to get to that this turn, so that's okay. The pen nib is quite good. I may have just missed the pen nib. There we go. Now, like, having Ink Bottle and Pen Nib is going to be quite an overpowered combo. That wasn't it right there. Good. Okay. Yeah. Like, I do get to a point in combat where I get so strong that, like, I need not worry about some of these things anymore. Oh, look, we didn't even have a claw in our deck. Really? I can't believe that we made it this far without a claw. Um, 220. I may as well go to these stores. And I would like another elite combat, but I think we're just getting more utility out of stores right now with all of the power-ups we've got from them. I mean, just look at that, guys. Still, unfortunately, no real draw here. Starting the elite combats with two strength would be very nice. But I'm trying to decide if that... Oh, we can have both! Let's see what other trinkets get offered to us. So let's do that. Oh, Oracalcum! I do like a good Oracalcum, just because it saves me a lot, except it's a little bit late for an Oracalcum. Um, yeah, FTL would be good. Steam Barrier is okay. It's just that it doesn't have much draw built into it. I, that's what I'm missing in this deck. Um, I really like Oracalcum, so I'm going to take it, and hopefully there will be another trinket. Four-plated armor... Would have been useful, but we just don't have the money left anymore. Okay, so let's take out yet another strike, because generally speaking, we're doing a lot of attacking, and then we do, like, a quick defend with whatever energy remains. Um, what else do we have to do? I don't really want to get any more of this stuff into my deck, just because it starts to create bloat. But I might buy a... P uh, no, we're going to have another store coming up. Okay, I'm just going to risk it. Let's keep going. I mean, I think that this is a pretty good deck overall. And remember, we do have Oracalcomon, so don't play a defend if it's only one. But that makes our defense yet even more useless. I would also like to upgrade, especially go for the eyes, because it just gives us a little bit more time. I'm going to do go for the eyes into a beam cell to try to take out this guy. Oh, I should have done that the other way. Whatever, I'm going to scrape. 
And we got nothing. And I think that the strike is actually going to be... Could be kind of a waste here. What else do we have? I mean, if I get Streamline, I'm going to want to play it. So... I did get Streamline. Now I want to play it. Sometimes things just work out. This will deal 31. That might actually be too much. That might actually be too much. Yes, too much indeed. I think I'll just start to make this guy vulnerable. Let's do machine learning because it's going to be useful. I'm going to do a scrape here because I want to take this guy out with whatever cards I get from the scrape. Hopefully. We'll channel the lightning. We'll do this. That's going to be only six. But maybe we'll take him out with our lightning randomly. And then I'm going to streamline into this guy. You hopefully see the method to my madness. Unfortunately, we didn't get what I was aiming for, but I mean, that guy's got only four HP left, so he's pretty much dying this turn. Okay, so you see how much this deck spikes on turn one now? This is why this deck is really good, because the more power you can generate on turn one, the better your deck is in general. Um, let's take him out with a basic claw. And then we could just like totally defend ourselves, so that is very tempting, and yes, I think I'm going to do it. But yeah, we need to do a lot during turn one. Um, I can't remember why, but we were way stronger then. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick reboot, because maybe we can just take them out even faster. Okay, more zapping, more clawing. I'll keep focusing on the same guy for the sake of just doing it. And extra block never hurt anyone. Now... You guys are saying Steam Barrier, but my thing is that this deck actually, uh, like, it needs to replay a lot of the same cards. So I'm feeling, like, slightly on the fence about that. Though I was proven wrong about Hologram, which turned out to be an extremely useful card. And so, therefore, I reach an impasse with this information. We're going to play a Turbo because I just sense that I'm going to need more energy here. Let's evoke the next orb. He's dead. Do another Vulnerable. Honestly, probably could have done that in the other order because I'm doing so splendidly well that I... Okay, and I'm going to take one damage. Actually, not that bad. Very exciting. Uh, we'll do another beam cell into that. And there we go. So not a bad combat at all. We can take out enemies with just, like, one thing. Okay, now I am going to start to take hologram because then I can resummon scrape and hopefully get some turbo. So now we're starting to see some recursion in the deck going, um, where it just like kind of calls back on itself. Okay, this is gonna be a fantastic play right here, so we're going to do a turbo, but I always struggle in this fight because you need to kill the mushroom guy because he's gonna make himself stronger, and then that's gonna make me weak to this guy, so it is kind of a massive struggle. Let's turbo and let's play this potion because I do struggle in this combat. Oh, we get the best card in the world, all for one. That is exactly what I needed. Oh my gosh, this playthrough is over now. This playthrough is just, well, I mean, it didn't end, but we didn't get it for, this fight is over, I should say. Um, I'm going to do what I don't usually do here, which is just try to take Shelled Parasite out right away. Because if we can, then this is going to make this a very easy fight. And you know, that causes him to inflict less damage on us. Um, but also, too, I kind of want to make sure I defend myself. Mm, I've already played one streamline. Let's do one defend. Uh, we could just, you know what? I'm going for it. I think we could take him out. How did that happen? Play another turbo. Play another scrape. Play Go for the Eyes. Play Zap. Ooh, this is very working. Very much this is working. Six cards. Are we guaranteed to get what we need with that? I'm going to take the Safe Boy way out. And then I'm just going to play Turbo again. This is getting really good. Okay, yeah, so I didn't even need the Safe Boy way out. And what do you know? I am an amazing man. I am an amazing man. Oh... The satisfaction of playing all of your cards in turn one and winning in turn one without even thinking it was going to happen, even while being safe. 
Ah, uh, slay the spire. That was that was an amazing turn one. Yeah, I didn't even notice the pen nib. I wasn't even thinking about that. I just get into the flow state of playing all the cards. And then I glance back at Twitch chat and I realize that I've become a monster. <laughs> what is wrong with me, guys? We do have an apotheosis here. Am I just going to buy the apotheosis? I'm probably just going to buy the apotheosis. <laughs> Uh, that's a very good card. That is a ridiculously good card. And it doesn't really bloat our deck because you just use it once. I know we could get a bunch more trinkets, but they are kind of expensive. Um, give me a minute. If we had a madness, we could create the infinite combo. We just need one more card for it. We still haven't gotten that all for one, but that all for one is basically how this deck's infinite combo works. Um, card removal service would be nice. But honestly, enough of our stuff isn't upgraded, and we're not going to be able to. That Apotheosis just once is going to be worth it. I stand by my decision. Okay, we have 28 out of 75, and we're going to go against the champ. Um, since we have Apotheosis, I don't think it's going to be so worth it for us to, like, throw ourselves at upgrading our cards anymore. So, yeah, I'm willing to take another rest here. We have the pillow. Uh, and only in the very end are we going to do a recall, like, before we get to the heart. Oh yeah, Apotheosis is a fantastic card, one of the best in the game. Okay, so this guy is actually a fairly straightforward boss. He's very strong, and he makes himself... Well, he makes himself very strong as it goes along, as you could probably have guessed. I'm going to make him vulnerable, though. Uh, how are we going to do this? I'm thinking let's just get tons of energy with Turbo, and then we'll claw him again. I do want to get Hologram going, but I would prefer it on Scrape. But I can tell I'm going to have tons of energy left over, so let's just go ahead and start getting our claws going more. Um, I think we're going to have more than enough energy left over. So let's just do another claw. Start getting claw more powerful, because even the difference of, like, one claw can, can change the world. Obviously, we'll play Apotheosis here. Obviously, I will claw him. Uh, I'm going to take the safe boy way out. But I'm going to defend all but one HP. And then I might as well just reboot. See if I can get that draw going. Nope, I didn't get the draw going. That's unfortunate. Look, even taking the safe boy way out, I still... I don't even need to be that safe. But I'm glad that I didn't take the extra energy. We're playing cards. Man, look at this. This is great. Apotheosis. Fun having... These voids are annoying me because of oddly, uh, not oddly smooth stone, um, unceasing top. They are kind of getting in the way of unceasing top working. Um, scrap. Ah, uh, unfortunately, I was not able to upgrade that card. All right, I'm going to have to use the heart of the cards here. Yeah, the unceasing top is really... So if we can avoid using the turbos, if we can get a madness into this deck or something like that, that is going to make us way stronger, but we'll just have to keep that in mind. Okay, we've got a double damage streamline here, so that's amazing. Uh, we will probably do a scrape to just see what we get. And, man, it's crazy that we can get scrape into turbo. That's just so, that's why turbo is such an amazing card. Except that it can totally ruin my turn. I think this is going to be the best order. Uh, accounting for the pen nib as well. Let's do a strike into a turbo, into a dual cast, into uh We're just going to have to get rid of all these cards, so we're going to do... Mm, that didn't really work out. I might be able to chain this combo even longer. We're going to do a hologram for sure, but which card do we recall? I'm thinking probably Streamline still, just because we want to get its cost down to zero so that we can start scraping it. Oh, but I forgot to check my deck. Void, yes, let's do Void. We could get it out of the way, to be fair. Um, or we could weaken him for the next turn. No, I think we could just take him out in like one turn. Let's do a scrape because I think that scrape is going to be always the card worth recalling. Yeah, zap, go for it. It's the only thing that keeps the chain going. Oh, he can't be weakened. 
Why can't he be weakened? This is very troubling. It does kind of remove from our next turn straw. That's true. Actually, I hadn't considered that. That might have been a... I might have been fooling myself there. Beam Cell into... Always play Beam Cell first. We're going to have a nasty pen nib in a second. I know what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to do a strike into a streamline because that's super OP into a hologram to get it back again. The issue, though, is that we're starting to depend on streamline when we should be using the claws in the short term. But I think that this fight is pretty much over. He's just going to power himself up and then die next turn. But yeah, like, to be able to go this quickly against the champion is quite good. Our deck is, is very strong now. Okay, die. 65 out of 75. Look at how much health we had left. Ooh, yes. We just got the card I was looking for. Now we have built... Uh, we have built the infinite combo. If we can manage to get that along with turbo, we have the infinite combo. Um, which is quite crazy good. Um, cracked core. We could channel frost at the beginning instead. I don't think that's going to be that great. Uh, but also, too, it does... Mm, actually, I might want to think about this. I'm generally thinking that nuclear battery is going to be the best for us right here. Because... Having a lot of energy on turn one is great, especially if we don't draw that turbo that we need and we just get the card draw engines, because we still haven't had this all for one. And Apotheosis 2, which is kind of expensive. So that's helpful for turn one. This one is kind of like sustain. If we were doing the turtle build, I would do it. But not right now. Um, and I don't... Th ah, this might be useful... Because is there really anything left to smith now that we have Apotheosis? Honestly, I think I might just not smith anymore. I'm going to have like three more campfires, so let's do it. Yeah, fusion hammer. Fusion hammer. As much as I like to smith, and I like the feeling of smithing a card, and yes, we got Deco and Donu, so this is probably going to be a win this run. Um, I know famous last words, but yeah, like don't quote me on it. Um, hmm, let's see. I'm thinking this path because we get a store, but we need a little bit more time to, like, collect some gold. Yeah, and then we could go left to get another boss fight in. Some of the boss fights on this floor are quite good. Uh, this floor does kind of test all of your metal. So, um, I'm thinking Apotheosis immediately is always going to be the best move here. Uh, even if we have to tank a little bit of damage. And then we'll probably try to take out this guy because he's going to deal us 13, but this guy has less HP... Hard to say. Big Pillow plays. Yes, that's true. We can get the Big Pillow for all of our rest. We'll basically be healthy for the entire thing. Um, Like, I'm quite sure we're going to beat the main boss. We're going to do a claw, because we've made him vulnerable, so we might as well. We're going to draw six, Warrior and I says, think no of those way. six... Always good to watch your stream. Love hey. Slay the fire. Mikator, hey, thank you very much for coming out. Appreciate the five months from you. Hope everything's good. Hmm. This is a very unfortunate, everyone. This is a very unfortunate. I was thinking... I was sitting here and thinking that we were going to be able to get uh, more energy, but we weren't. We weren't, in fact. Okay, so this is uh, rather dissatisfying, actually. It's very bad to draw all for one at the beginning of your draw pile. That's the one thing that stinks about this build. Now, I do want to defend myself for this turn, but, I mean, we can be resting for pretty much the whole time. I might even just throw some of these potions, because I tend to underuse these potions. Let's dual cast this, because it costs nothing. Machine learning, because, look, this turn didn't go very well, but maybe the next one will go better. Oh, look! I am saved. Reboot. Please give me a turbo. No, and I didn't get a turbo. This is another reason why it's bad to have deck bloat. Okay, um, I will deal 12, because then I can definitely throw the thing at him. The whole kit and caboodle, as they say. As they say. Oh, amazing! Another turbo. Okay, I will use that. Now, hopefully you see why I like Turbo. 
Uh, I might as well just use the beam cell up on... Actually, do I want to use the beam cell on this guy? I'm going to use just a regular attack so that I can beam cell this guy. Because I need him to be vulnerable. And then I can just streamline you, and then I didn't even need to block myself at all. That was a great turn. And Oracalcum just for the... Uh, mm, just for the extra Oracalcum. Who doesn't love some Oracalcum after all? I will use one defend so that I have it. Oh, great. Avoid. Exactly. The card I was looking for. I will probably dual cast. And I can't actually even do anything with this all for one. So let's just play an all for one. And then that's literally it. We can't even do anything with the cards that we draw back. Oh, well. And then they have healed themselves. I forgot that they do that in only one turn. That is quite sad. But, I mean, our deck is very good, so... Uh, now here's the amazing thing with this deck, and now where I can show you the infinite combo. So, we have all of this stuff. Let's play this, and now we can do hologram, and then we can use that to get back all for one. Which, now we kill this guy, and then we get back every single card that we just played. And if we can get them to recall each other, then we have an infinite combo, which is why this is an amazing deck. Um, 12... Followed by a... I might as well do a turbo here, just because... Why not? Just poop on them. Um, and then I think we'll start to get unceasing top. Yeah, this is an amazing deck. Look, yeah, there goes... <laughs> we don't even... <laughs> the turn never even ended. Uh, okay, beam cell. We already have one of those, so I don't want another. And yeah, that's how I learned not to bloat my deck in this game, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so again, we've had amazing luck on our first turn, so this might not last forever. The only thing that I'm going to regret is not having Apotheosis innate, which is one of the most stupid OP plays ever and just shouldn't even be allowed. Apotheosis first. Have I played They Are Billions on stream? I don't think I have, but They Are Billions is one of those games where, like, my head just sort of explodes when I play it. I think it's a great game, but I do struggle. Um, am I going to need this 5 dexterity? Now my new fear is not being able to even use up all of my potions, so I think I am just going to take the dexterity. But that could save me later on. There's better potions out there. Um, hmm. I will dual cast you. Not even sure I'm going to have to defend myself. I mean, it is 14 block. I'm just trying to gauge at this point in time, though. Do I even know what I'm doing anymore? At this point, I just start to play cards because I find that if I analyze it too much, I drive myself crazy. Uh, not really, like, great <laughs> advice for this game, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, I got 28 blocks, so I should be fine. 14 block, yeah, I'm just gonna live my life right now. We didn't get that, um, what is it, machine learning, but machine learning plus is quite good. When I played it... Wait, I did play There Are Billions on stream? I did play it on the main channel, though. I think that those videos are very old now. Aren't they old? Only the old geezers have seen those videos on my channel. No one remembers that era of the AA channel. Um, we've all just tried to forget about it. Um, hmm. Defend me. Defend me. Oh, look, a turbo that I didn't even ask for or need. It's just like, cards just make their way into my hand, and I think to myself, what a good idea it would be to play that card right now. Okay, our void is basically upgraded at this point because of Apotheosis, so I don't think I need another one, and again, I don't want to bloat. Hmm, how's my day been? My day's been pretty good ever since I hit this infinite combo. We want to take out this guy in the turn one. This is kind of a doo-doo first hand, though. Yeah, like, we didn't even get an apotheosis, guys. Look at that. Ooh. Not good. Not straight bussin'. But what I can do, at, at the very least, would be this. To streamline... And then I can do an... This is going to be a bizarre thing. I'm actually going to have to do a hologram. Wait, no, but then I won't be able to do an all-for-one. Ooh, that's not good. 
If only I had one more energy in this moment. Oh, well I can do this. I'm not sure if it's worth it to use up all these potions, but I'm just going to give myself permission to do this. Yeah, YOLO. Oh look, an apotheosis that I actually didn't need. Um, yeah, actually I'll take the apotheosis, never mind. I was gonna do something a lot trickier, but now I'm kind of over killing some of these enemies. I'm just feeling good because I'm gonna have to go up against Dekka and Donu at the end, who are actually quite an easy final boss. Versus the Time Lord with whom this strategy does start to break down. Unless if you can start establishing block on yourself fast enough. Which we, we can't. Uh, so there is that. I'll take a little bit more block and I don't actually need the turbo. Uh, we might take one damage this turn. Oh, I forgot about my pen nib. I will scrape. Oh, look at this. Dual cast into this thing. And t t just turbo again because I totally ignored that. There we go. And then just look at what I'm doing, guys. I'm just, I don't even care what game we're playing anymore. I'm just going near. And then the game is over. <laughs> this is the this is the only way to play this game is when you're just. Mm. This is such a fun. I mean, it's not the world's most powerful deck. I'm not going to do self repair. I don't think it's worth it at this point. Because it's say if it were in the middle of combat, it would be good. But right now, it's just not worth it. Okay. Um. Another all for one. I don't actually think it's going to be effective for us to get a second one. I think just one is enough. Um, Horn Cleat would be really useful, as would Frozen Eye. But do I want to remove more cards more badly? <laughs> Only because you can die in turn one or turn two. Frozen Eye is pretty insane, but I, I know I'm not going to end up using it because I don't like to overthink this on stream because that, and it just makes the game slow down a lot. Um, and I think Slay the Spire is secretly an action roguelite. It's not actually a deck builder. It's an action game. Mm. Horn and card removal? Yeah, because... I, Look, I know that Frozen Eye is good. Yeah, it's good for scry builds. I'm just, it's not going to make a difference to me, really. I'm not going to slow down the playthrough that much, so I'm just going to do this bottled tornado. Actually, that would have been useful for other builds, but I'm going to do this. I want to get rid of more of these strikes, just because they slow everything down. Um, yeah. Okay, we're playing against a giant tentacle. Not what I had pictured this morning. Now, I know slow playing can be fun, but it, I just, like I said, it's an action game. Many will disagree with me on this, in which case, I don't know what they're doing the way that they're playing this game. I haven't played against this enemy in a very long time. What does he do again? Scrape would be nice if we managed to draw a turbo, then we could put it into a streamline, so I think I'm going to do that. We got a reboot, and that's good. That's something. Uh, yeah, we might as well reboot. And we didn't really get the things I wanted to, but he's got like four vulnerables, so he's not going to last too much longer. I think that went about equally as... Ooh, I forgot about Pennib. Ah, although I am constricted, I am not um, conflicted. At the start of your turn, take ten damage. I should still be fine. Uh... Okay, we could recall all for one this turn, so we just want to make sure that we have some stuff left. The zap is going to be good. The go for the eyes is going to be good. We've got 14. We're going to take 10 damage. Uh, actually, should I do a defend into that? Be better off with a defend. Strangely here, yes. I think instead of playing machine learning, I'm going to play a defend instead into a hologram. Get all for one back. Get two energy left over, and then we can pew him like crazy. Yeah. So we didn't fully take him out, but we didn't take any damage either, which is amazing. Uh, we'll zap. We'll claw. 
We'll scrape, we'll streamline. I'm not really even thinking too much anymore at this point, but this deck just kind of like plays itself. Famous last words, famous last words, yes, but I'm gonna skip on Melter. Um, I don't even need a fireplace, Jesus. King Toyotathon is right around the corner. Oh no, I hate Toyotathon so much. <laughs> Triple G, thank you for the 300 bits. That just made my day like a lot worse hearing that actually, but um, but thank you for the 300 bits. I do appreciate that. That does make the day a lot better. Uh, going pretty good. How are you guys doing? Okay, we'll slow down for a second because I do still need to get the red portion and I'm going to want to rest at the place before Deka and Donu if I even do take any damage, but I've got like two more of these rest sites. I guess the only thing we could do is go for more boss fights to get more trinkets. So I might go down the right path here. Yeah, because I won't need another fireplace here. Fireplace. I know it's like a resting site. It's not a fireplace, but... Yeah, all right, we'll take this. Oh, this is such a smooth boy to fight against. We're going to do fine here, folks. All right, give me a turbo. And then I'm going to put that into an all-for-one to turbo again. Turbo again, and then we're going to... I'll take a defend, sure, why not, and then I'll have a reboot. Hopefully I won't draw all of those in a row. Um, okay, I didn't draw most of the things I wanted, but that's fine. We'll streamline. That was for the pen nib, so that was good. We'll apply some vulnerable. Um, uh, actually, I should probably slow down. I could have done beam cell into streamline instead. I wasn't thinking there. Actually, that could have dealt like another 50 damage to him. I think it's just so good at this point that I I just get excited. I just get excited. Uh, what do we have here? Two orb slots. I think I'm going to save that in case if I need it. We can just do that, and then that, and then that, yeah. I should have played that in there. Well, actually, it doesn't matter. He's vulnerable once. Uh, free defend that gets us closer to our next thing. Place with a fire is a fireplace. Yes, it makes sense. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, to be fair, every place with fire could just be a fireplace. A place of fire. Uh, claw. I mean, we want to get to the point where we can just snowball with claws as fast as possible, right? At nine, I'm already... Jesus Christ, I'm so powerful. Oh, we have no energy left. Wow, that was unfortunate to have drawn two voids. But at least we get rid of the voids in our hand. And we have none left, right? That could be a death sentence if I draw, like, five voids in one hand. Yeah, do keep that in mind. Let's just keep playing voids indiscriminately, even though that we don't need them. We're at eight on pen nib, so let's do a scrape and then we'll do into an all for one. Because that's quite powerful. 34, so that's going to be 61 damage. Um, Although I do want to recall more of these cards, so let's just do it like this. 36 versus 24, so then this is actually going to be the most damage right here. Because we're going to be recalling the all for ones. Or recalling the zero cost with all for one. Do you see how this works now? Like, does this deck, is this deck starting to make sense to you? It's brilliant when it does work. And if we could get a copy of Madness, then it's like a guaranteed infinite combo. Buffer can be useful, but it's going to bloat the deck and destroy the purity of this strategy. So I don't really want to take it. Mm, do we take a buffer? Because if we get Apotheosis onto buffer, then we get, like, two damage that we mitigate, and it can be the thing that saves us from taking a ton of damage at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't... Why do people say no? I know that it's not part of the strategy, but I've had enough of this. Well, it does bloat it up with the defense, too, and it doesn't get us to the infinite combo. I'm going to go against it right here. Yeah, it's bloat. Skip. We're going to skip. I think you people are smart. SMRT. Smart. 
The words of Homer Simpson. All right, um, we have reached an impasse, my son. Pew. Begin with a pew, then go into a scrape. Because why not get more zero cost cards? Give me the. If we can get the turbo into a decent reboot at the beginning, then, like, the game is over. Um, I'm gonna do the safe boy thing right here and just defend myself twice into a reboot, because that's still three energy and that seems pretty good. Um, we could weaken one of them. This guy's probably gonna be dead after all the things that we do. 31 damage probably take out any of them um streamline boy go for the eyes we could probably weaken that guy and a pen nib is available now oh i missed the all for one that was quite bad i deserve i deserve punishment for missing that <laughs> i deserve punishment <laughs> Oh, now and I'm going to take one damage. So that's what it looks like when I really mess up my turn. <laughs> um, okay. All right. Maybe that's enough playing fast for right now. Okay, I really screwed myself a little bit right here, but that's all right. I got machine learning, and there's no damage incoming right now. But yeah, that's what happens when I really screw myself over. Just keep that in mind, because it can keep me vulnerable for one turn. That's one of the reasons I was suggesting buffer, but you guys said I shouldn't do it. Uh. <laughs> uh. I think I can get nine here, and I do have Aura Calcamon, so I'm just going to take out this guy. We'll claw him as well. We'll do a dual cast. No, we're going to do a reboot. Not even worth it to play one of the blocks. Apotheosis me up. And actually this was not that productive a turn, but... Oh, a streamline just when I didn't need it. Okay, so we've got, like... A lot going on here. I gotta say, like... This is actually a crazy chat, guys. Right now we've got 975 people, but this is also, like, a very silent Twitch chat. <laughs> like, in comparison to other games. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And I wonder if you're all Slay the Spire fans, or if you're here as AA fans. If you want to see what I do in my off time. Ha ha ha. I just play a lot of Slay the Spire in the background, but I am a gamer. Um, let me see. Defend. Defend me, then we could still do all for one into a hologram, and that is what's amazing about this deck. Why not both? I feel as though, yes, it's fair, like, you see that I have played this and you think, why is he playing that? I thought this was solely my addiction, you know? Mmm, I should not have done that. I should not have really done that. I should have played my other attack instead. Am I willing to take some damage here? I'm gonna have to take a little bit of damage, because that was kind of a stupid thing of me to do. This is where it's unfortunate that everything I have is a direct attack. I actually might end up taking one of my defends here, just because I don't have enough ways of defending myself. Here we go, 15. Okay, but now I can do zaps into a, really a dual cast will probably be enough. And then am I even going to claw? I'm going to get eight to me. Yeah, that wasn't so smart of me. That wasn't so smart of me. It's because these guys are so full of thorns, and it's just so rare to find an enemy with eight thorns that I was, like, not even considering it. But now I constantly have to block myself because they're just so... F well, they're so full of thorns, like I just said. I can't believe that I'm being subjected to this indignity. I'll just take out this guy. Well, I will give him weak, and that guy's probably going to be dead by the time we get to the next turn. Uh, let's do this, because I can still sustain ten of those, and then we could do a zap into a dual cast. And decent. Decent. Do I plan to... Is there a Twitch mod for Slay the Spire? I honestly didn't even know. 
there is. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Why am I not doing that? What am I doing doing this? Let's take another... I don't even think this one matters at this point anymore because I'm just going to do that. All right, so we did unfortunately take seven damage, which we'll never get back. Alas, I know. We already have a turbo, so I'm going to skip. I don't want to bloat my deck up anymore. I might as well take a fireplace. Oh yes, I see what I'm going to need to do. Okay, I'm going to need to recall here, because I still don't have red. And then we'll rest at the very end. Okay, so just be a little bit more careful here. I'm going to play a little bit slower. The bronze scales are not amazing, but definitely not bad either. Uh, we get the Whispering Voices. I'm trying to remember what this one is. It's covered Project Zomboid with the car video. Wasted so much time on that. You didn't waste your time on Project Zomboid. And we just got the complete infinite combo. <laughs> we just got the total infinite combo. We just did it. Okay, so we just found the best thing in the game to Madness. If we can apply this to um, Hologram and All for One, then we just won the game. So we just have to make sure that that happens in those combos. Don't obsess over it until we get into a prolonged combat. But yeah, it gives you infinite block and infinite um, basically everything. Uh, I wouldn't, like I said, obsess at the beginning of combat over getting it though. This guy is a smooth boy. I'm trying to decide if we're going to... Well, we might need the vulnerable for the later boss fights. I might as well just get more trinkets to prove that I can do this. Four to four. I want to play a streamline once, though. Yeah, it's just really a matter of deep loading our deck with that last store. Reboot. Into... Go for the eyes, into claw, into... It's unfortunate that we have hologram right now. I don't want to get more voids into my deck either. So let's just do another hologram, which is going to give us... An, let's just play more claws. And then a random defend. So again, it, it takes some time for us to get to the infinite combo, but we need to be able to stall until we get to that point. I thought I heard a knocking at my door. Hmm. There's no one at the door. I'm just going to continue to live in this reality. Hmm. You don't have any... This is actually one of the more straightforward enemies. Although he looks like he's up to something. He always has. He just inflicts a lot of negative effects on us. Mr. Negative. I guess we'll just keep channeling lightning. I mean, we don't have Apotheosis played, so I just feel like kind of a scrub right now. We're going to get some other card that we won't even be able to use. He does. He looks dangerous. He could be related to the whale that's in charge of the spire. And what an incredible hand. Oh, my God. So I think Apotheosis always needs to be card number one. And then we play... M we actually aren't going to play the Madnesses yet. Uh, we have to do... Because now we have the infinite combo, I'm pretty sure. We're going to scrape him. Which is going to give us all zero cost cards. Then we can play a Madness so that we get all for one to zero cost. Are you ever okay. going to play Risk of uh, Oh, that's a good idea. Except I'd also probably become addicted to that game, Undefined. Thank you for the 300 uh, cents. Three dollars, that is. I kept thinking 300 bits. Now, please don't... That's like asking me to start smoking cigarettes. Like, just... It's not gonna go very well. Like, I will become addicted. Okay, and we just won. So, here is the infinite combo. Uh, we play all for one. Which deals damage and recalls all the zero-cost cards. Then we play beam cell and... Cl and I don't even care what order I play everything in. Because now we do hologram to get back all for one. And then I think you can see how this works now. Because we just did it. And the game is over. Look at this. This is so good. This is so good. I don't think it can get interrupted by anything. It's over. All for one. Beam cell, claw, that's it. That's the infinite combo. Is it even necessary to get FTL into this deck anymore? I mean, it is a card that works with this deck. No. Yeah, you're right. We just want to slim down the deck. 
Yeah, the, if we had the clock boss, we would be done. But I don't even think we need FTL. I just don't want the deck to be any bigger. Ah, uh, yes, Recycle could be good for slimming down the deck, and it is a zero cost. It also could get rid of a Void, that's true, that's true. I'll take it, because what you're saying makes sense to me. I'm going to fight the bosses too, just because, well, why not get more powerful, right? Like, I might as well prove to myself that I'm a powerful man that can do anything. Except that it might not end that way at all. Um, hmm, orb slots, damage, vulnerable. I don't like this boss because he has the intangible thing, though. I will throw the vulnerable at him, because he's probably going to give me another potion anyway. I'm throwing the vulnerable at you, sir. We might as well just use a hologram right now just to make him even more vulnerable. You think you're so masculine? You think you're so tough? You're vulnerable, sir. Um, going for the eyes into a streamline. We don't have pen nib, right? Did I just miss a pen nib? Man, what's have wrong you with me? Loop Hero? Also has cards and deck involved. Also a very good game, but it's been a minute. Haven't played it a lot in a while. Yaroslav, thank you for the 300 bits. Hmm. Methinks, although Madness is fun, I, I won't be getting the infinite combo unless if I use it on certain cards. The one thing about the Madness is that it can make the combo a little bit longer to get. But when you get it, it is indeed infinite. So that's nice. Um, okay, I think we got part of the infinite combo. I'm not sure if we can actually do it on a turn when he has intangible. Nor would I really subject you to watching me hit, play 107 cards. So I might not even do it. <laughs> but yeah... Like, I think we have the infinite combo right now. I might just willfully pass it up. Uh, this is quite crazy. Um, all right, we'll do a dual cast, might as well. Um, Madness will go on to... I'm trying to think of which one it would be more key for it to happen with. If one of them can set us off on it right away. If we could get Madness to apply to Hologram, but then we might not be able to recall it. Yeah, I'm gonna need another Madness. But do I have another Madness? I do have another Madness in there. Okay, so then I can play all for one. Yep. Yep, just like this. Okay, I did it. Now the only card that costs anything here is Hologram, so if we play Madness again, we'll make Hologram zero cost. Okay, we just won. You know what? Maybe I am just going to have you watch me play 107 cards in a row, because why not? Like, right? What else are you doing today? Uh, that's just... <laughs> that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. We'll recall all for one, and now we'll do this amazing combo again. Because, look, it's very easy to play these cards together. Claw... Dual cast. <laughs> ah ha ha ha. Ah ha ha ha. All for one. Unless if we do get to our max hand size and I forgot... Oh, I totally just messed everything up because I forgot to do this. But it's not really because I happen to have that card in my hand also. So now we play all for one again. And then we bring it back again. This is amazing, right? Isn't this amazing? Except that we keep drawing more cards accidentally so we might max out our hand size. I'm wondering, like, am I going to be in any danger if I just stopped it? No, let's just do this for the memes, because everyone will remember the day that AA had everyone sit through him play 107 cards in a row in uh, Slay the Spire. When he, The day that AA slayed his entire audience. No, I won't subject you to that. You get the idea, but I love you very much, and I'm not going to have you do that. Um, but I... Whoops. I'll do it once more. Oh, we do have Recycle, actually, to be fair. You're right. The hand size... Ah, actually, that is true. I won't ever get to the end of this. Okay, then I will do it. All right, feel free to skip through the next few minutes if you're watching the VOD or something like that. Oh, wait a second. I just accidentally played the wrong card. Oh, well. It's fine. I didn't want you to have to sit through that. I 
I'm just gonna end my turn out of sympathy for the viewer. Who cares if I if I fail the run? And I think I just failed the run, actually. <laughs> wow. Uh, that was quite sad. I actually am going to take damage here. Um, am I? Yeah, I am. I'm going to take damage. Wow. All right, I am an idiot. Ignore me. That was a very surprisingly bad hand. Okay, now I'm fine. Unfortunately, I took like seven damage from it. And he has intangible again, really? Okay, well now I am actually going to have you sit through me playing like 20 cards because I don't want that to happen again. A day that will live in infamy. Beam cell, defend. All for one. Beam cell. And I am dead. I actually screwed myself here. Wow, I should have just played through that entire infinite combo. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I should have just done it. That's weird, though, that I got stuck out of my infinite combo. I just had some very unlucky hands. Fend, hologram. All for one. Zap, streamline, we're done. The gi infinite combo giveth, and the infinite combo taketh away. Uh, I don't want that to happen again, so I'm just not going to do something stupid here. I'm not even going to fight. I'm just going to leave because I took an unnecessary risk. And I did get Das Boot from it, but... Heal to full HP, become cursed. No, I don't really want to do that. Am I going to take the Act 1 boss? I don't know, guys. I just don't really want to die. Oh, wait, no. I can no longer heal if I upgrade all cards. L yeah, LOL, right? I'm just going to take on a boss from Act 1. And we got the world's easiest boss, so this should be very fun. Nice. We could probably take him out in one turn. Um, I'll play the machine learning just to get it out of the way, because it's probably going to bloat my deck. We'll do a reboot here. That reboot is so freaking powerful. I'll beam cell him into another reboot. Okay. Okay, and did we get it? I think we just won. Turbo, play. Um, I will zap. Then I will res... I might recycle something. You know what? I'm going to recycle my defend just to get rid of it. Because I'm not even going to need it. We're going to streamline... We're going to play the Madness on all for one. We're going to get back some of the cards. And then I'm just going to do this so that I can start to get my infinite combo going. And I didn't. Honestly? Not very good. But we might still be able to do it. Recycle that. <laughs> I just, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. Dual cast, and is that the end of him? Claw. Okay, yeah, now we won. This is all unceasing top here, people. Okay, and we got an emotion chip. That's good. Trigger the passive build. This isn't really that great an upgrade for us, but why not? Uh, skip. Skip. Go. Rest. 71 out of 75 is plenty good enough for me, and we're going against Deca and Donu. All right, this is great playing combo, but Ink Bottle keeps drawing cards when you play 10. That's true, though I can also recycle now. I don't know if it stops me or if that has anything to do with it, but it makes me feel safer. I'm going to play Machine Learning and then do a reboot, probably. Hoping that my defense will get stronger. Because I don't want to waste the energy on that on turn one. Uh, it didn't work. Um, mm. Now, of Dekka and Donu, I do believe that Dekka is the better one to kill first, right? Isn't it because he's the one who does the... Or am I totally wrong about that? Who's the... What does each one do again? Donu. Donu, like, is kind of the support, but Dekka is, like, the attacker, so you want to get rid of the aggressive one, but you also kind of want to get rid of the support, but also, too, he deals a lot of the damage. Hmm, also, too... Yeah, Dekka is a D8, not a D10. Yeah, Dekka is, generally speaking, the best one to go for first. Okay, good. Thank you for confirming that. 
Generally speaking, I always find myself going up against the Time Lord. I'm just going to take that. And good, amazing. We actually got a hologram, which we didn't really have a use for. This is my one concern with taking Recycle, is just the fact that it is slowing things down. But I can start to de-bloat my deck. I'm aware of the fact that de-bloat isn't a word, but... Yeah. I'm saying it anyway. Okay, um... Hologram? I don't want to totally get rid of my defense from this deck. Well, actually, the faster I get rid of them, the better. Let's just hologram to get back Recycle, and then we're going to also basically exhaust this defend. And... Dual cast, because, I don't know, I won't like to click cards. Oh, Jesus, I forgot that I have the infinite thing. I have so many status effects right now that I basically just gave up an entire free turn. That was stupid of me. Um, Alright, ignoring that. I know the infinite combo, but I'm bad at controlling my emotions because I get excited. That's the truth. I get excited, guys. 26, but we should be okay here. Um, I'll take some of the block. And I'm also going to take the turbo, and then I'm going to reboot. Why is nothing working out for me right now? We just have to slim down our entire deck to the infinite combo. Okay, this is get happening now. I'm not going to mess with that recycle too much because it is starting to make things a little bit weird. Actually, I'm a little bit regretting taking it right now or I feel like I'm not using it right because I didn't figure it out. But oh well. Um, let's just keep preying on Decca horribly. And good, we do have all for one in there, but I'm trying to see if there's another way we could get draw. Mm, okay, I'll take the block because I have so much energy. No, I gotta keep turbo in here. Yeah, I shouldn't have taken this recycle, guys. I just don't understand how the card works in this deck, and it actually didn't work with the top. Um, so that wasn't a good idea. Can I use it and then skip? Oh, shoot. I just destroyed my infinite combo. Damn it. You know, I didn't understand that card when I took it. Ugh. I messed up. I totally messed up. I wonder if I can still do it with what I've got. I know. I still might win the fight because I'm just that OP. But that's why I should never have taken Recite. <laughs> why did I listen to you? <laughs> Whatever, you you did see the uh you did see the strategy for all its amazing brilliance. Can I save and exit? Can I save and quit? I'm gonna totally do it to just see if I if I come back. <laughs> okay, did I do it? Okay, it totally worked. Yes, I should never have taken your advice. Um, all right. Well, that's fantastic. I didn't actually know that that works. All right, it completely just ignore me save scumming right there. Um, that never happened. That never happened. I didn't know that you could totally just do that in this game. Okay, never take recycle. Never listen to your uh, Twitch audience because they will try to kill you and mislead you. So I will try to get rid of that card. Because we shouldn't have taken that with Unceasing go Top. You guys are so silly. Why did I ever listen to you? Um, I think I might still be able to get rid of it. I might have to get rid of my audience, though. I know, that's the issue. That's the issue. I shouldn't listen to you. You're a bad influence on me. Um, I still think it's worth it to recycle our strikes, though, in the deck while we have them here. So I'm going to go ahead and do defend. Yeah, if it weren't for that, then the unceasing top. I'm not even making sense anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and defend. Defend. Into a dual cast. Into a hologram, which we can use to get back... We could get back Recycle and play it. That doesn't do anything. Okay, that actually might work. And we drew a Madness. We didn't get to the infinite combo right now, but yeah, that's where we're at. I'm getting rid of that Recycle ASAP. Okay, 13 by 2. We should be fine here. We've got 5 energy. That's quite good. That's quite good. Dippy Nick. Hey, Nikki, how are you doing? Oh, I miss hanging out with you guys. Dippy Nikki, real life friend Dippy Nikki in the chat. Thanks for the prime. How are you doing? I wanted to get together with you guys. I've just been super busy lately. But thank you. 
Are you are you also aggressively addicted to uh, roguelite deck builders like um, like ev basically every other content creator? Um, <laughs> that are are all in like this little our our group of friends. Yeah, it's quite bad. Good to hear you're good though. I hope you're having a good. Uh, well, we're coming up to American holidays, but yeah, I hope you're having a nice time. Where are you guys at? Germany. Enjoyed the Sims 1 and 2 videos. Hey, thank you, Kathy. Oof. Okay, here we go. I'm reading a lot of Twitch chat. This is why I should never take your card recommendation advice, people. I shouldn't listen to you. I think I can still get through this fight, though, you know, with my amazing save scum abilities. <laughs> so, yeah, I should be good. Uh, thank God for, thank God for save scumming. I totally didn't know that that worked in Slay the Spire, though, but that kind of kills all of the tension in this game for me. Unfortunately, I keep getting madness through the unceasing top. Acebec says hi. I say hi back to Acebec. Uh, Don and De yeah, Donut and Deku are good. Though I could use this to recycle my voids, which is nice, so if I do get a, like a lot of status cards, to be fair, this might not completely screw me. Like, I did a lot of complaining. I know. I am aware. Um, except I don't think I can fully escape it from, from it this turn. So we do that with that card, and then we do this. So our infinite combo isn't actually getting off right now perfectly, but... Alas. We'll get it. We'll get it soon. Um, it's not gonna happen again because of all these dazed. Yeah, these status cards really do kind of mess with this strategy. Again, like I said, this isn't the perfect strategy. Like, it's not the best one in the world. But I wanted to see if I could get it to happen, and we totally did, which was worth it. So happy you are playing Slay. My favorite game. Love it's a fantastic you, game. Hey, Rayon. Thank you very much for the 10 months. Yeah, it's like everyone here is just kind of like a closet uh, Slay the Spire addict. Like, that's all we're doing. Feel free to play along, though. I hope you <laughs> find something to enjoy with it. I'm going to go ahead and do a defend here. We're going to draw another when I scrape like this. I'm going to try to get hologram into my discard pile here. Yes! I got it with the draw. I'm good. Oi! I'm good, mate. We just got the infinite combo working and we just won the game. Okay, so after all of that horrible... <laughs> after all of that horrible stuff that no one will ever speak of that I just had to do... Um... Uh... We finally won the game. Okay, so this is it again. We did it. I'm proud of us all. I'm proud of us all here today. We'll do a claw and then we're gonna do... Let me make sure I'm doing this right. We're gonna do all for one, which is gonna bring back all the zero cast cards. Then we'll do hog. It really doesn't matter the order we do it in now, but I can just do it this way anyway. Let's do this, because I wanna weaken you. Beam cells. Well, I'm gonna make you vulnerable too. Dual cast. Oh, it would be bad if I filled my deck up with those things, but actually recycle here is not so bad. Oh, okay, I take it back. You weren't trying to deceive and destroy me, Twitch chat. Actually, Recycle is a very exciting card. Okay, now I'm beginning to see how this makes the deck even more powerful. I am the, perhaps the strongest that I've ever been in my entire life right now. It's The only danger would be if I accidentally clicked on the wrong card, which would be very bad. Go for the eyes. Zap. Beam cell. Okay, this is great. Who even cares what's happening anymore? There we go. Jeez, Louise. And it's over, folks. It's over. Look at how much his donut is bouncing around. Wait a second. Didn't I already... Oh, you know what the issue is now? And I just see this. Do you see what just happened? I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't realize that I just... emotionally imploded. I mean, we're going to be fine, so don't worry about us. But I accidentally just had to reshuffle my entire pile. Yep, it was because of the ink, the ink bottle. Okay, so it's not truly infinite right now. I mean, it basically is, but... 
Like, we have to go through a lot of cards in order to get that to happen. There might be some way around it, but I'm too smooth-brained to think of what I should do. Uh, so let's just do that, and 18, and we could even just fire potion him off if we wanted to, but yeah, that's the end. Okay, so we beat the game, but we still have the big, uh, the biggest donut of them all, which is the heart, of course. A great big donut inside of your chest. There we go. We could have shuffled, yeah, maybe we could do something with the voids to shuffle those into the deck. That's not a bad idea. Like, maybe keep the voids around. Except that we keep having to, like, recycle them. Um, is it going to cost me the entire game? Yeah, do the void into the discard pile. So if we did that... Yeah, we could create more of them. I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Unfortunately, we are not able to smith here, but we just have to kind of pass this one up. We're going to go on to... The last store. Okay, this may make a big difference, so I'm going to go ahead and just check out what can we do. There's no more cards in the deck that I would add. Potions always, if this isn't going to make a difference. At the start of boss battles, heal, heal for 25. Might make a small difference here. Um, or an additional copy of a card in our deck. What could we change? What could we change... I don't think we need more of the cards. I think our deck is perfect as it is right now. Copying Madness... Might not honestly make a difference. If we copied the Madness and we put it onto Scrape, would that mean that we could then draw forward as many times as we wanted? I mean, we could already shrink down our deck with Recycle. I am actually seeing the the value of having Recycle in this deck. As long as I don't accidentally recycle one of the cards in my infinite combo, um, I think that's fine. So I think we can use Recycle to get rid of the Strike and the Defense if it's starting to bloat us too much. Copy Holograms so we can survive the Heartbeat. Um, we need only one Hologram, though, is the thing. Like, we don't need any more of them. Putting, I think one all for one is all we need as well, though, too. I don't think we need any more. I think that the issue is that we needed to be able to draw forward into the deck to create things in our discard pile as well. So we needed scrape. I would be willing to copy one madness. Yeah. And we should be fine with the block. Hologram creates block as we need it. Um, and we don't actually have to play all the cards. So we could just do hologram into like one for uh into one for all we could just keep playing those two cards into each other we don't need to do it the way i did it um i think we copy madness for scrape so we take a mirror and then we just get rid of like one more card from our deck because the only thing that would kill us would be like a disastrous turn one hand in the heart so let's get rid of our strike and let's get the mirror No, you people don't under because, well, hologram- uh, I think it would still be good. Well, Madness, we could then take it down. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, I do start- I am starting to see what you're saying. Like, what if we don't draw the cards that we need from this, though? Oh, because then we can recall Hologram onto itself. Okay, that actually does make sense. So then we have a recursive str strategy where Hologram can keep calling Hologram. So then we could create Infinite Block, which then blocks out the Heartbeat. Okay, yes, so then it would be Hologram. That makes sense to me now. Okay, yep, let's do that. Um, so we aren't going to copy Madness, we'll copy Hologram instead. Okay, that's another infinite combo in this. And we're going to copy Hologram. Um, enemy dies, draw energy and uh, draw one card. I don't actually think that this is going to be necessary because it's just like one more time we'll get that. Let's just remove that one last strike to save me from a disastrous turn one hand. And do we want a potion? Gain three thorns. Uh, the artifact might be useful here. Yeah, I think ancient potion. Honestly, a free Grambler's Brew is pretty good too. And I think since we can just get rid of the one attack, that's even better. Uh, so let's get rid of the orb slots and let's get a Gambler's Brew. I think that's even better. 
Uh, the vulnerable. Vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable. Maybe we should just see what other better potions we could get. Because I feel like 20 damage is actually very little in comparison with what some of these things can do. I mean, I'm going to be applying vulnerable too. Let's just see if we can get a fairy potion. Like, discard this. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'll take the vulnerable. Regen seems cool, but honestly, I don't think it's as good as just applying vulnerable here. Mm. Yeah, the heart does a bunch of multi-attack, so the thorns might be good. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this, because honestly, I'm already applying a lot of vulnerable. Gambler's Brew is good, the artifact is good. Let's discard this, and we'll get the thorns instead. I'm happy with this. I mean, I'm sort of happy. I'm as happy as I can be. Hey, Moen Phelps. Thanks for checking out Zero Sievert. I thought that was a good game. And what do you know? We already got our infinite combo on turn one. Uh, except that we didn't get the madnesses. Ah, uh, that is the danger of this. So we have the two cards, but this isn't going to be recalling this yet because we didn't reduce its cost to zero. So that is kind of sad. I'm just trying to think if there's anything I want to do here with these. Uh, I think we just have to plain old reboot. Like, we could deal damage like a normal scrub, but I don't think that's going to be worth it. And I think I want to save all my energy for apotheosis and stuff. Um... Again, reboot. Am I going to play one of these defends? I'm like quite certain that I'm going to get a defend in my next hand and it's not really worth two health. Oh yeah, let's see if we get something with the draw. Okay, we got a claw, so that's free damage. I'll take that. And then I'm going to reboot yet again. Okay. Scraping. Maybe we're going to get something going here. Going for the eyes. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna zap. I could turbo, but do I really need to? I may need to. I'm gonna scrape again, so I'm gonna go hologram to that. So we can just start getting more of our deck into this pile. Good. Pretty good. I could probably afford to just get rid of some of my defense here. Because I just don't need them. Right? Isn't it bloating my deck? Do I get rid of the defense? Like, it's worked up till this point without them. But do I need them? I may need them. <laughs> Hol yeah, actually, to be fair, Holog is pretty much all I need. And we might start drawing a new things with our unceasing top, so let's go ahead and defend. We'll turbo ourselves again so that we get unceasing top. Machine learning is good. Claw is good. Dual cast is good. Okay, I'm starting to see how this is working. The only thing that is the issue is when we draw Madness alone. And we aren't actually going to draw that. We know our next hand. That's a good looking hand. I'm just going to end my turn there. I'm not perfect at getting to the infinite combo, but once I'm there, it works. I Like, I know, we always get ourselves killed when we do this. Okay, that's a lot of damage coming my way. That's basically Phil Swift in a in a boat made of flex tape coming this way. Um, beam. Beam you. I need to stay facing this direction, though. Ooh, which one do I take out? I think I'm going to aim for... Oh, Jesus. Am I actually going to be in trouble here? I might have to recycle my streamline. Just so I have the energy back. Am I gonna- is this going to work? No, it's not going to work. Ooh. I may have walked myself into a very bad situation here. Hang on a second, what do I have to do? The thorns aren't really gonna help me much. Getting a lot of- getting a lot- I don't want to tank it, no. <laughs> I could tank it. <laughs> what I want to do is take out the guy behind me so that I could face the guy in front of me. I just need to apply some of those cards to this. Uh... Oh, what do I do? Yeah, thorns are more helpful. I want to save those cards for the next fight. I don't want to have to use these things in this one either. So what I'm thinking is... 
Though this guy also has the one artifact on him. This guy's gonna get too vulnerable if I do this. Maybe we could just take this guy out completely, then face the other guy. Let's try that. Um, okay, so what I've got to do here... Wait a second, I think I just might have figured out what to do to do a lot of damage. I might not actually be able to kill them. Hmm. I could streamline dealing 34. Then I could hologram to get back streamline, reduce it to zero. And then I play all for one, get back streamline again. And then I think I play Recycle and just keep drawing cards. So yeah, I could do like 90 damage at least to this guy. So let's go ahead and do Streamline. Wait a second, am I going to have enough energy left? Oh no, I have only three energy left. No, that won't work. Hmm. No, that won't work. That won't work. Mm, what I could do then is to use my Gambler's Brew to discard these three. I'm going to have to recycle my Streamline here. And then let's play the Gambler's Brew. Oh, wait a second, that just used two. Jeez. No, I just totally messed up. Uh... Am I going to be doing this totally wrong? Yeah, I might have to tank this. All for one, then... It, no, I, I don't want to do that. Well, if I do all for one, then I've already played it. Because hologram isn't going to give me back the right card. Wait a second. Wait, what just happened? Can I undo? No, I can't undo my potion. Oh, well, that was what I was hoping for. That totally didn't work. Hologram, all for one. Yeah, that didn't work at all. Oh, well, what I still can do is just rely on random card draw. <laughs> See if that gets me anywhere. Let's recycle my defend. Let's zap. And then let's just pray to God by playing any card that works. I'm just going to have to play my madness. Waste my madness. And strike. And hologram. Okay, let's see if this works. And then I'm going to all for one it. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, I really do deserve this. Mm, I messed up. I totally messed up. I deserve to lose this. I could have gamblers them all, but yeah. I know I just screwed myself. That didn't make a difference. Uh, just give me another card. I missed out on the infinite combo, so let's just get something here. Turbo. And what do you know? I'm just gonna save scum my way out of this one because- whoops. No, I'm just gonna- nope, I'm not gonna do that. Let's just save and quit because, uh, I don't want to give you that dissatisfying moment because we totally didn't just get there. Yeah, that was, uh, amazing! Look, we're back at the beginning of the fight. Wow. <laughs> uh, didn't do that at all. <laughs> Uh, okay, I do want to see if this is possible. Nope, no one saw that. Wow, amazing, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, too bad, too bad. Uh, my power just went out. <laughs> Time for a glass of water. All right, I didn't want you guys to go away with the dissatisfaction if I hadn't played it and we got them this far, but I might actually just end up dying here. Um, in which case, you know, like it was still worth it, I think. We're going to play all for one into hologram to see if that does anything. Yeah, we'll do it. See if that would have changed our fortunes anymore. Okay, so now we do have both madness. Oh, so then I just misplayed it before. It's fine then. We can ignore that. <laughs> All right, yeah. So to be fair, like this isn't for official records or anything like that. So like, yeah, I'm I'm a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. But like, I knew that I was doing something wrong there. So I wanted to, I, I wanted to make it right. I wanted to make it right, and you know I did, and I. I feel good about it, and I know I'm a bad person, but I do feel good about it, so there is that. Um, yeah. But anyway, I have it here on Twitch for proof. I have it here. 
Of course, I have it here on Twitch for proof. And what do you know? We're amazingly going to win this combat. Wow. Um, so MLG. Uh, I do have to hologram here to get... Oh, and we just did exactly the same thing wrong. Okay, so I do get some of my just desserts, I suppose, for being such a bad man. Um, and what do you know? I actually did slightly mess it up again. Yeah, you know, it's this ink bottle. It's almost like too much of a good thing. Yeah, the card draw so caused the shuffle. I, I see what you're saying. Okay, I'm going to scrape anyway. At least we got more things into the discard. Uh, what is it that I need to do? I really need the all for one and the hologram, just both of those. Who cares about these other cards? It's really just like everything is bloat in comparison to those cards now. So, like, just give me... Yep, good, we got the infinite combo again. Okay, so that's how it works. Uh, we do need those madnesses, though. Did we use up one of them? Wait, what did I use a madness up on? I swear to God, I didn't think I had used one of those up. Turbo. Into a streamline. Yeah, that is very distracting. All for one is going to get shuffled back in, though. So I should probably... Oh, I'm beginning to see what's going on here. I need to make sure that I keep calling it before the deck reshuffles. Okay, so that was just kind of like a little derp thing that I had done. Let's make sure that we get the all for one back into our hand before it goes back into the draw pile then. All right, I'm allowed to learn too. I'm allowed I'm allowed to learn too. <laughs> Even if it just involves rampant rule breaking here. Uh hmm. Let's give me this. I'm just going to hologram something very innocuous back out because I want to make sure that this one doesn't get... Like, another hologram. That would be fine. <laughs> okay, then we'll do madness. Then we can do all for one, and then the fight is over. Okay, I think that I fully understand the strategy now. It took me a minute with all of my weird stuff. Every three times you shuffle the draw pile, gain energy. Uh, we don't actually need anything else. Yeah, skip. If I do die here, though, to be fair, I will actually die. Like, that will that one can be on me. <laughs> That's my made-up, self-imposed rule. Okay, so let's go ahead and defend. And then just make sure that the madness gets off on the all-for-one. Good. Oh, thank you. Potions, yes. Using up our potions now. Um... Okay, so we've got Claw into an all-for-one, which then I'm probably going to end up using the reboot. Claw again, because he's going to inflict one damage on me every single time. And I want to save some energy for the very expensive cards in there. Issue is that we keep reshuffling everything back in. So I think we're definitely going to want machine learning here. It's true. Yeah, the reboot does give us some energy. Yeah. We're not going to take any damage, so we can just keep managing from this turn. Give him the vulnerable. Oops, I should have done that before. Um, I'll take a machine learning. Are we even... We might not even have enough energy. It's such a bizarre situation to not have enough energy with this build. Um... I'm thinking let's do a hologram into another beam cell, then into a dual cast, and we'll see what we end up drawing, and another hologram. Oh, we did get one of those uh, madnesses off onto one. Okay, that's not great. Fantastic, more deck bloat. Oh, I'm awesome. Uh, now recycle is starting to look useful, though. And wow, that was such a horrible turn. I may actually die here. Am I going to die from this? Wow. Took 35 damage from that. Oh, Apotheosis, here it comes. Everyone's favorite card. Whoops, I should have defended myself first. Oh, well. 
defend myself. I do have a hologram in there. Does it cost zero? I don't think it costs zero, though. I think I'm going to have to scrape before I do this. Go for the eyes. I will scrape, and then I will all for one. I'm going to need energy for this. I don't have the madness in my hand, though. But I will after I get that ink bottle, probably. Let's go ahead and do a turbo. Into a claw. Into a streamline, into an all for one. Or actually, into a streamline, into a... Yep, okay, now I can create the infinite combo, I'm pretty sure. Streamline. All for one. I'm going to take a little bit of damage here. Oh, and I actually don't have, um... Any shields! Wow! <laughs> oh, that's not so great. Uh, oh yeah, all my shields are in my discard pile. I might need to get another madness. Oh wait, I don't have one. That's bad. Hmm. Turbo reboot. Yeah, I might end up having to do a reboot. There's a lot of good ideas, in though a lot of these are based on feeling. <laughs> um, you all have the best intentions, and I do appreciate that. Um, thank you. This might not work out because I don't realize some other important key fact about the fight. Uh, what do we need to do to this guy? Let me think for a second. A lot of people are suggesting that I recycle the void. I mean, like it's going to basically do two more damage to me. Um, a lot is going to work and a lot might not. The main thing I need to be able to do, I need to be able to get one of these holograms back into my hand with a, uh, with a madness. I have a madness still, right? I believe that's in my draw. Yeah, I have a madness in my draw. Okay, so I need to get that, and once I get that, then I get the infinite combo, and then we're done. So the fastest ways to that are going to be either the ink bottle or whatever, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to take 48 turns, so <laughs> that's okay. So let's just keep turboing and, like, using up really way too way too much, much more than we should. We'll recycle our void. If I reboot, I might not draw the cards, though, that give me draw. That's my fear, so that's why I don't want to do it. Um, uh, wait a second. I'm going to get to the end of these, though, and I won't be able to do it. Yeah. Actually, I think you're right. I'm going to totally have to reboot. But before I do that, I do want to give myself a little bit more safety for some more turns, so I'm going to do go for the eyes. And then I'll reboot. Oh yeah, the fact that I don't stop drawing ever, that's good. Except for, what if I stop drawing because I get too many status cards? That's the fear. Watch like, a lot of people have a lot of good ideas, game except game that... Rarely goes beyond. Reduce enemy HP to There's zero. always one not thing that you forget. Is leaving me perpetually on the verge of a stroke, but I'm not I know. These plays are cool as hell to watch. Uh, I am afraid. I can run out of things to draw if I get only status cards in my hand, and I don't manage to get recycle, so that's the fear. Because I don't have it in my graveyard right now. Um, also, Slunky McGee, thank you for the 16 months. I think I just need to keep playing things, and I hope I get it with, um... Ink bottle. Why am I doing that? No, I... The only thing I can hologram is that, uh... Whatchamacallit? Just give me... I just gotta keep playing cards. I hope I get a recycle here. And I got a void. Okay. Uh, hollow, I suppose... Everyone's suggesting that I s recycle these cards, but I don't- I'm not actually even able to recycle those cards. Because I don't have recycle in my hand. I hate to say it. 
I can't do it though. And now I can't actually draw because I have the status cards. I can't get rid of the burn because I don't have a card that would get rid of the burn. That's a good idea though, to be fair. To be fair, it is a pretty good idea. Um, okay, I want to keep around the defense because... Uh, actually, no, I gotta recycle the defense. I'm gonna play a defend and then I'm going to recycle a defend. Because we just have to get to the infinite combo now. Whittle down the rest of the deck. Hopefully do it in time. Yeah, okay, I'm, I think I'm starting to see exactly what's going on here. Claw. And then do an all for one and hope that we get a hologram. Beam cell. Into another claw. Into, we keep recycle around because then we can get rid of the void and then we can dual cast. Okay, so I am starting to see some of the point of that, but I need to keep this madness around so that I can still get the infinite combo going. So I do have to stall for another turn. We've just had horrible luck at getting those two cards in hand at once. Okay, I think we just did it. I think we won. I'm gonna hologram... Uh, what do I have to do? Yeah, I think that's it. I think we won. Hologram for... No, we hologram for all for one. Because then the all for one will redraw madness. But let's get down our energy just a little bit here. Hang on a second. Or, like, I gotta reduce my hand size. <laughs> yeah. Hologram... To get back the all for one. Now we play back the all for one. That's gonna redraw all of that. Then we gotta get rid of everything except for this hologram. That costs something. I honestly think I'm just gonna recycle my strike. Now madness and hologram are the only two in hand like that good. So we just got a zero cost hologram and we just won the game. Okay. The game is finished, except we still need to be able to take out like another 100 HP next turn. We have created the infinite combo. I am a very powerful man. Except I need to make sure that it never goes into the draw pile too. Ah, oh, there's so many things to keep track of, but it does work. I, I am starting to see it now. All for one comes back into the hand. And we do go for the eyes. Let's just do that. Let's just play all the other cards now. Give me that. Give me this, and then we can start to recycle the status cards. I'm starting to see the point of recycle in this deck now. We don't even have another orb, so never mind, screw it all. I will recycle my wound. We must be very careful now. I think we need to scale Claw faster than the other cards. Or I'm, I'm just overthinking it at this point. All for one. He's already vul he's already got all the status effects we're ever going to need to give him. Um, yeah, just all for one into hologram. And then make sure that ink bottle doesn't interfere with the rest of it. All for one into hologram. Into all for one into hologram. Yeah, that's it. Okay, it's over. And then we just drew one, so we gotta be careful with that. Other thing we should probably do is just make sure that our claw scales up enough for the next turn, so that we don't horribly die. And if we could recycle that other wound, that would be good. Yeah, kunai and shuriken pretty much make this playthrough over as well. That is true. Um, should we just recycle all of our other cards, honestly? Like, is there... Would that be recommended... Wouldn't that be recommended at this point? Yeah. I think I think it might be. Hologram into all for one. Now your turn does actually just continue even after you get to the final damage amount. I'm pretty sure because I've done this before. Yeah, there we go. So he just can't take any more damage. 
hologram into all for one. I mean, I know it's not doing any more damage at this point in time, but I'm just getting more defense. Uh, I'll defend my... Actually... Nope, he can't die anymore now. Like, he, he's taken as much damage as he can. Uh, block up to 36, but then I'm trying to decide if I should just recycle the rest of my deck, because what's the point? Or maybe I'll just recycle the burn. I'll get to the burn so that I could draw that. We'll just do claw. Just give me more defend. All for one. Hologram. I'm just going to upgrade my claw until it's, like, super powerful. Just so that I could finish him off in one hit next turn. I'm also going to recycle, I think, everything. I don't think that there's any point to drawing other cards at this point. Recycle. Go for the eyes. Yeah, I'm going to do this, guys. I think that this totally works. If I'm not, you know, I'm an idiot. Which I may very well be. Don't take my advice on any of this. Okay, all for one and to just recycle the rest of my entire deck. Hologram into all for one. All for one into recycle. Yep, just recycle everything. And then make sure that claw is strong enough so that we can finish him off in one hit. Okay, we're done. Yeah, and I'm not going to recycle the combo this time. All for one. Good, now we could recycle the status. Because I'm thinking, what if he hits me with like 10 status effects next turn? All for one. Into that. I mean, logically, this should work, right? I mean, I think that this is strong enough now, unless if he inflicts me with like a million status effects. And also, too, what is this card? Scrape? Okay. I know I'm making myself very nervous now, like, just by doing this. But yeah, I, I'm confident that this will work. Oh, but what if I draw all of this stuff, too? I totally forgot about that. Yeah. Let's do this scrape now. Because then we got to get the rest back into our discard pile. All for one. Into claw. Into hologram. Into all for one. Into this. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to play this like a million times. And then into ink bottle. Into claw. Into hologram. Into all for one. I'm probably making you nervous thinking that I'm going to recycle the infinite combo accidentally, and it's so it would be so easy to do that. We're just taking out insurance for the next turn. This is the craziest way to play this game. Okay, and recycle my defend. We have to do this like another 10 or 20 times until we're like super strong. But yeah, there it is. 52 damage, you gotta count by two. I think we'll do with like one more defend card just until I feel completely confident in this. 56, 84, and then we draw something else. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, let's just recycle that other hologram. Wait, I just did something wrong. Play the, I played the wrong hologram. Oh no, I did it. You guys see what I just did? All right, I, I think I figured it out. I think I'm good. I accidentally did it with the wrong card. I mean, I'm, I'm good anyway. All I need to do is play this one card and it's over. I know I took way too much time, but I just wanted to show you the beauty of the infinite combo. And my amazing save scums, which I, for the record, did not know until this stream. I'm so sad that you guys told me that because that makes this game feel so much more anticlimactic. I promise that's the only time I'll ever do that uh, for the next few days.
No, I, I did want to show you what it was. It doesn't really count. It doesn't really count, but it's a it was a beautiful thing anyway. And now you know how to play the defect with an infinite zero cost combo build, which uh, I totally got from this video from a guy named... Um, uh, this was from Medieval Marty. Slay the Spire, defect guide, best w decks to win games. Very good guide. Uh, anyway, he had a few other ones in there, but I just wanted to try this one out. And I've been horribly addicted to Slay the Spire. And it's actually very dark out in my house right now. So uh, I'm in a good long stream and <laughs> I, I want to share my addiction with you. I, I think it's good to be able to you know, ruin our lives together. So I mean, for me, I can kind of do it when I'm working, but it's like, you know, I pretty much just spent a few days in my house, like trying to figure out this strategy because I'm addicted to uh, roguelite tech builders. And it's been exactly that way uh, until we streamed it, so now. Uh, it does feel good, but you've kind of ruined the game for me now that I know that I can just totally save coming. <laughs> so it's good. So anyway, that did kind of cure me of my Slay the Spire addiction, which, well, now maybe you have one. But yeah, see if you can do that. I'm going to throw up the deck again. Honestly, I learned that Recycle is a pretty good card. I just used it totally wrong there. It's really about knowing what to do. And I don't know what to do much of the time, but all for one combined with machine learning, it was kind of like a random extra card. Reboot is good in it. Recycle is okay. Scrape is a great card for the early game. Beam Cell is also good. Claw is great in general. Go for the Eyes is good. Ho Basically, this deck comes down to the combo of Hologram and All for One. And if you can, try to get two Madness in there. But you could also do that same infinite combo if you have a Turbo. So you just play Turbo. And that gives you three energy. And then you could play um, All for One into hologram and that's pretty much the whole combo it gives you tons of block and tons of uh damage except it doesn't work against the time boss at the end so you just have to use a lot of claws and hope for the best um i, I mean again obviously this doesn't count because i had a massive save scum because i messed it up uh apotheos is helpful but not totally necessary a pretty good run um and i'm a little sad and i don't think i'm gonna play slay the spire again for a while but i hope that you guys enjoyed and i hope that you learned something because it is quite a fun game